My name is Lucy Westcott. I'm the James Foley Fellow at the Committee to Protect Journalists. The James Foley Fellowship is named after the American journalist James Foley, who was tragically killed in Syria in 2014. This fellowship focuses on an area of safety that is particularly important to the fellow who gets it. And I feel very, very lucky and extremely grateful to be able to continue his legacy at CPJ. My research is mainly focused on safety issues and threats facing women and gender non-conforming journalists in the United States and Canada. Those two countries are what I would consider non-hostile environments, countries where traditionally there is not a hostile environment for the press, but there are nevertheless uh, safety issues that, that many journalists face. We notice two massive trends. One is the general danger of online harassment. The other uh, is an increase in journalists, broadcast journalists uh, specifically working alone. These are journalists who would usually go out with a crew or a cameraman, uh, but now they are doing all that work themselves. They're out there often with heavy equipment, they're alone, and that puts them at risk. I decided to do this research uh, having worked as a journalist in the United States myself for many years. I faced many of the same threats and dangers that uh, women spoke to me about, mainly online harassment actually, and I was very afraid when that happened to me. I didn't really know what to do and I wanted to make sure that in the future for other women and gender non-conforming journalists who are putting themselves out there and reporting the news that they had some kind of help available to them. I was also very deeply affected by the tragic death of the journalist Kim Wall in 2017. It was uh, genuinely shocking that she would meet her death in, in Copenhagen in Denmark, which is a country that is traditionally um, very welcoming and open to the press. She was in a non-hostile environment and safety issues and dangers are still present in those environments. There aren't many resources or, or there's not a lot of training for countries that we deem traditionally safe. So I wanted to at least make sure that there were some resources available from us. A lot of women that we spoke to feel like they still cannot speak to their employers or their bosses about things that have happened to them. There's still this kind of feeling among a lot, not all, but a lot of female journalists that if they experience something that's dangerous or if they experience some kind of safety threat, if they share that, then they will be perceived as weak, as sensitive, as not able to do their jobs properly. And also there is the fear of loss of future assignments. So that is a, that's kind of a big barrier that we still have to overcome um, for all types of, of safety threats, whether that's physical or online as well.